Hey YouTube, it's Catherine here and this is me marking week 52 of my ketogenic way of life. Today is my ketoversary. My videos have not been consistent the last couple of weeks and um, I'm sorry for that. Um, <clears throat> so I did not meet my one year goal. My one year goal was to be 199 and I did not meet that. I am 2.7 pounds away from, well, I guess 3.7 pounds away from, from that mark, which is pretty close, but um, I was hoping for the 199 mark. So just for this week, I weighed in at 202.7 pounds, and that was a 3.5 pound loss from last week, um, which I did not video. Um, so that brings me to a total weight loss of 81.3 pounds in one year's time. <clears throat> Sorry. So um, that's pretty successful. Uh, not, ex not as successful as some, um, but I'm not, that's not a, a horrible number. Um, and I, I'm just a slow loser in comparison to others and I know you're not supposed to compare yourself to others blah 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 but I think we all do you know especially being in a in an online forum you do you read everybody else's stories you read everybody else's successes and failures and you automatically lump yourself into that failure when you when you're not seeing you know the 80 pound loss in six months or what have you but um, I'm hoping to lose 72.7 pounds in the next year. I'm giving myself another year of being keto to get to my goal weight. Um, that could be unrealistic, especially with the way that my body is losing weight. Um, but if I have, you know, within that year, a good couple of months of tracking and all of that, um, I'm, I'm hoping that I can get there. And if I don't, I don't. And next year, I guess we'll reevaluate. Um, I'm still a little indecisive about staying completely keto, mostly because I'm feeling like I want to try a little bit higher carb, not necessarily definitely not in the way of like I probably will never go back to eating you know grains and sugar um, those two things I'm pretty sure are out of my life forever but I am not totally convinced about like not having potatoes and a little bit higher carb than keto is um, even though I've had success I still I want to know what my body feels like with that I I don't I don't know um, because since losing weight and being keto I don't I don't know what it looks like when you do have a little bit higher carb do I feel better do I feel worse that kind of thing so I might do a little bit of experimenting um, this year with doing a little bit higher carb um, I'll have to research it more I don't really know all of the all of the ins and outs of that like if you do it I know there's people who carb cycle, who do it once a week. There's people who, you know, even when you're doing lazy keto, in reality, you don't know how much carbs you're having if you're doing lazy keto because you're not tracking. So um, if you are having higher carbs, they're usually in the form of a vegetable, which to me, because I don't eat like bars and that kind of stuff, think I'm okay with but like I said I, I kind of want to experiment and see where I feel the best um, I don't necessarily feel like I'm feeling like optimal being at in the in keto that I have been this last year I, I feel like there's I'm missing something like I'm missing a piece so um, that's I guess what's to come um, like I said, I'll, I'll never go back to a regular way of eating. It's just I feel like maybe I want to experiment in the keto or in the low carb platform a little bit. Um, I think I'm going to start tracking a little bit, um, maybe even starting today. I haven't eaten yet today. 
just to um, I would really like to get into the 199 mark so I would really like to just get into the 100s and um, you know continue my journey from there so I might track and just lose that 2.7 pounds and just get there <laughs> um, nothing else is new we had quite a bit of um, family visiting this the last couple of weeks um, so it wasn't hard to stay keto at all uh, this is the, really the first time that I've really been like around other people that aren't eating it I didn't really struggle with that at all um, so yeah sorry my dogs so I will um, I plan to still video document my journey, so I will still be posting videos. I hope to still be posting those once a week. Um, like I said, during this end part here, I wasn't very good at that, but um, I would like to up that game because it is a really good documentation of it. Uh, I do take pictures. I take pictures of my progress, um, especially because I am a slow loser. Like, it's really hard to see sometimes. Like, you forget. You, you do not have that realization of what, where you came from and where you are. Like you look at your body and you're like, mm, I'm the same, nothing's changed. <laughs> but really I'm, you know, I'm 81 pounds different. So um, I will continue my journey. I hope your scales are moving. I hope everybody is being successful. I hope that you learn something from my mistakes and <laughs> can, can uh, do better by them. But thank you again for watching and I'll see you next week. Bye.